You are you. You are a sovereign. That means there's nobody except your conscience and your concept of God or goodness or whatever drives you. That's all that you answer to as long as you don't harm anybody else. That was where the revolution was. I mean, the revolution had so little to do with splitting off with England that uh, I, I'm amazed the average person in the public, I ask them, what was the American Revolution? And they'll say, well, we split off from England. Woohoo! And now, come on now, think about this. And, and as I've said so many times, in junior high, I had to remember all 114 countries in the world and their heads of state and a bunch of other peripheral nonsense I've never used. But today there's over 256 countries. Obviously, splitting off is no big thing. What was different was here on this continent, you had an unorganized group of people, all of like mind. There was no organization to it. They simply said very eloquently in the Declaration of Independence, the very libertarian document of them all, that's the one that tells you what it is. We will institute a government that will protect our rights and nothing else. That's what we're going to do. And we'll own it. And if they don't do what we say, then we'll fire them. Well, that was the supposition on what would happen in the, before mass manipulation of the public through the media and all the different lies we hear. You know, I mean, hey, if you were a bad guy and you wanted to corner a market, wouldn't you go buy up the media in that area and have them say what you want? Well, that's exactly what happens. And everybody knows it. But <laughs> it's so simplistic, they think, nah, it's too big. That's just that'd be too big. Hey, look around. Look what's happening right now in the banking community. Fraud, 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 fraud. And the biggest bank robbery in history, only the banks are doing the robbing. And man alive, this is, this is like so surreal to be alive in this day and age after having been alive in the 70s and, and even into the 80s when there was some semblance of you could get some action. Now it's just the, the Stud, the studded boots on your throat, uh, TSA gro groping your kids. I can't even fly because about the time somebody touched me or a kid, and I don't care whose kid it is, I'd have a felony on my hands. I, and, and so I better, no thanks, I better better not, you know. <laughs> and, and that's the only thing. So that when I fly, I'm just going to have to go private. Uh, where uh, I'm, that's all. And if I have to make two or three jumpy stops to get to a place, then I'll, I'll suffer those consequences, but I will not be humiliated. But th the teaching, that's part of the education. Teach your kids. It's not okay for any adult to touch you in those special places, unless they're wearing blue gloves and they say I'm from the government. Uh, no thanks. Not playing that game. Uh, I mean, I, I'm just totally startled by some of these people, especially the women who say, oh boy, I'm inviting this. I, I haven't had this much action in so long, blah, blah, blah. They make a joke of it. Not my kids. You want to be, you want to be that way? Knock yourself out. As long as you're not hurting anybody, I don't care. You like it? I like it too. You know, I mean, it, I live and let live kind of uh, thing, I think is what we have to get back to. And if we don't, we're losing an entire society. But that whole American Revolution thing came back to the arrogance of individuals who would in unison say, we don't need no stinking king to tell us how to live. We, the arrogance we, that we displayed is so phenomenal. We can run our own lives. Why we can even own our own government. Wow, that was the revolution. The revolution was here. It was never out there.